Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by your favorite Halo YouTuber. While we all mourn the bad news that Halo Infinite was delayed into the unforeseen future, we all have but one question. What is there to play? And while some of you may choose to skip out on gaming for a bit for other activities like hanging out with your girlfriend, us real gamers are continuing to grind out Halo in hopes of being in our best form come Halo Infinite. Or is that just me? For those of you sticking to Halo, there seems to have been a recent revival of players flocking back to Halo 5. The Halo 5 MVP himself has been taking time between Call of Duty scrims to stream and upload games of Halo 5 and many other pros and ams alike are joining him. But after such a long time since Halo 5 was seemingly dumped by the wayside, why are players just now returning to Halo 5? Well I think the most obvious reason is that after the Halo Infinite campaign reveal showed us some single player gameplay, most people made the connection that Halo Infinite is going to play closer to Halo 5 than any other Halo games available to play right now. And why wouldn't you play the Halo that most closely resembles the game you're waiting on? I think the initial increase in people playing Halo 5 was due to Infinite coming this holiday season, and most people were just trying to freshen up on their advanced movement mechanics before the first Halo launch in nearly five years. Now that the news dropped that the game was delayed, you would expect the Halo 5 revival to die down a bit, but I don't think that's going to happen. There was obviously a dedicated group of people that never made the jump to MCC when Halo 5 was dropped as the competitive title. But on top of that, I think everyone's just over Halo 3. Halo 3 on PC is now the competitive title for the bi-weekly pro circuit being run online. But the pros don't seem to be too thrilled. And as sad as it is to say, the player count on Steam seems to confirm that everyone else feels the same way. Halo 3, in my opinion, was the last chance for the classic Halo games to establish a significant presence as a PC title. But I think we can put the final nail in the coffin for that dream. When pros and amateurs are hopping back into Halo 5 for some competitive customs, it's important to note that they've actually been playing on PC. Wait, what? Halo 5 came out on PC? Well, not exactly. Halo 5 Forge came out on the Windows Store way back in 2016, but it's only the Forge mode and custom games, no campaign or matchmaking, and it's locked at 60 FPS. So why do they prefer to play on PC? Well even though it's locked at 60 FPS just like the Xbox One, the game feels smoother and the aiming just feels so much better. The PC version seems to have conquered the dreaded heavy aim issue that the console version of Halo 5 was plagued with. I don't really know or understand why, but from the research I did, the developers used dynamic resolution scaling in order to maintain 60 FPS, since the Xbox One obviously didn't have the power to achieve a constant 60 frames at 1080p. Basically, the engine adjusted the game's resolution on the fly while you were playing, lowering it if there was too much action on screen that could compromise the frame rate. My guess is that the Halo 5 PC version doesn't do this and just holds a constant 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second. And not having the dynamic resolution bogging down the system results in no heavy aim, and an overall better feeling aiming system. Just a theory, but it makes sense to me. The problem with Halo 5 Forge on the PC is that pretty much no one plays. The pros go in with 8 people they need already selected for their game. If you want to go in and play some Halo 5 PC, you'll need to hop in with some friends, or you'll have to settle for the handful of games going on. 
This obviously limits your options for the game types you specifically want to play. But you could always host an open lobby and just hope some people join. I recently hopped back into Halo 5 on Xbox for the first time in almost a year, and I was pleasantly surprised at how quickly I could find games. I made a video almost two years ago, shortly after Halo 5 was dropped as the competitive title, where I was having trouble finding games if I wasn't searching on Expanded. And even on Expanded, there were long wait times to find a game. But recently I've been finding games faster than I can pee, resulting in my team playing a man down for a few seconds. Sorry guys. I even searched on Focused a few times just to try it out and I was able to find games, although the wait times weren't optimal. Even though I've put in a crazy amount of hours into Halo 5 and feel like I have nothing else to do in the game. I definitely see myself continuing to play until we finally get that sweet, sweet Halo Infinite release. And there you have it folks, the Halo 5 Revival. Are you a part of the movement? I personally don't see myself grinding this game hours and hours every day for the foreseeable future, but I do enjoy hopping back in and almost getting a fresh experience since I've been solely playing the Master Chief Collection on PC. After taking a prolonged break from Halo 5, it feels refreshing to play again. And obviously, as we get closer to the launch of Halo Infinite, whenever that is, I'll probably be grinding Halo 5 again to try and recapture the little skill I had with the advanced mobility mechanics in hopes that it puts me in the best position possible come Halo Infinite. So what do you guys think? Are you hopping back into Halo 5? Are you sticking to MCC, or are you just doing other shit while we wait for Halo Infinite? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you think you'd be interested in watching any future content. I set a personal goal to hit a thousand subscribers before Halo Infinite drops, and we're getting there slow and steady. Every single one counts, and I'd love to see you guys stick around. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video. Later.